It's Friday, August the 12th, in beautiful uptown Wabashine. And oh, look, we're double solar cooking today. Uh, I promised the fellow on uh, YouTube I would do a follow up. Uh, I'm doing a roast beef actually in the solar oven. So there you go. It uh, hasn't been out very long. I'll uh, just give you kind of a quick. There you go. Sun's bright. Anyway, nice clear day. Uh, got the parabolic set up. So in a few minutes, I'm going to uh, take this here pan. This would be your. Uh, Oh, your standard, what they call black speckleware. I'm going to put two liters of water in this and uh, cold water, and we'll see how long it takes to boil on this parabolic. Now, this parabolic is now over three years old. I've had it for three years. Um, as you can see, the miler is that's getting a little worse for wear, and it's got a few little stains and whatever, and some rust. But uh, after three years of uh, this is a Chinese unit from former Sang Lee, I believe is the name of the company. Uh, anyway, what I'm going to do is, uh, in a few minutes, going to get some water. I'll, I'll uh, aim the thing. We'll put two liters of cold water in the pan, and we'll see how long it takes to boil. Stay tuned. We're back. Uh, Friday, 12th of August. And there's a wispy bit of cloud going on over the sun here. We're not going to worry about it. So I sort of aimed the, uh, the parabolic. Okay, I'm going to take my speckleware here. <coughs> It'll be fairly quick. Place that on there. And it doesn't take long before the bottom starts to heat up because of the there's nothing in it. Okay. Two liters of cold water. As you can see, just steam right up there. So we'll pour that in. Oops, it's slipping away there. Biggest problem, that's a, the one Achilles heels with this type of cooker is the uh, it's not always the easiest thing to to level out the ring. Uh, as you can see, it's leaning a little forward. I hope that doesn't slide off. Okay, I'm going to cover this up. Ah. Lid. Okay, put that on there. Just kind of show you what's going on at the bottom here. If you're looking, you see that really bright spot on the pot under there. Hopefully you can see that. And that's where the, the cooker's position. So, we'll, uh, we'll time it. And we'll come back occasionally, see how it's doing, and uh, see how long it takes to boil. Stay tuned. Well, it's been about six minutes. I'm not sure you can hear that, but it's got that I'm starting to boil sound. As you can see, steam, bubbles forming in the bottom. It won't go on. So it's two liters cold water uh, about six minutes ago. I will call it seven now. Anyway, uh, stay with me. We'll check on this in a few more minutes and see where we're at. And it's been exactly 14 minutes and oh look we're boiling yep we got a full boil going there so two liters of cold water out of the well into the uh, speckleware pot onto the uh, parabolic cooker and after three years so it still does pretty well so it'll boil two liters of cold water in uh, 14 minutes or less perfect for cooking and after three years uh, other than a bit of rust around the edges um, of course there was supposed to be a rubber ring on that edge, which I didn't put in because I was lazy. Um, anyway, that probably wouldn't have been rusted, but uh, it still works. And yes, you can still buy these. Apparently in the U.S. there's a company that sells these, I think about $170. Uh, I lucked out. I only paid $75 for this one. So, But anyway, there you have it. There's your report on the uh, parabolic cooker. Still going after three glorious years. Take care.